basically, you just go climb this ladder. And once you climb it, you then just jump through this window and land on that lamp. Once you land, you will get a warning. Just make sure that when you land, you place your foot at the right spot, so you won't die because of this. Then boom, you can now kill enemies here. Alright this next spot that many players still don't know exists, is in the wooden house. This is a glitch that allows you to climb the walls like Spider-Man. Well, all you need to do is just run as fast as you can in here, then click jump. Keep on running when you are in the wall so you don't fall, after that, you can now do whatever you want in the wall, you can even throw grenades in here and shoot incoming enemies. So, this next parkour spot would be in the map terminal. All you need to do is go up in the water tank, and then just jump to this window, after that, jump there. Lastly, you need to go there. Once you are in here, this spot would be one of the most unknown places an enemy would find you, that's why you need to know this so you can kill them easily. You can also go from here, to that window, so you can see the enemy that would plant the bomb or enter inside the water tank, gaining easy access. Next up would be in the map summit. So, basically, you just need to go to the middle of the control room and jump in here. After that, jump to that floor over there. Alright, after that walk at the very end, and then you see that platform, well, you need to run and jump there, like this. As you can see, this is a very cool spot where you can see the enemies that would go from different places and players most likely won't notice you because of how high you are. This needs to be known especially for search and destroy games. This next one would be in Crossfire Map. Unlike the previous spots, this one is actually very easy to do, the first thing you do is go jump in this broken car and then jump to this fence. The next part would be jumping from this fence to this roof. Then boom, you are now in the spot where you can have an advantage towards your enemy because Shock RC cannot get you. So the next one would also be in Crossfire, this spot is near the base. Just go inside here. And when you look at the left side of this broken house, there is a spot where you can actually go inside. Just run and jump in here. As you can see, this is a very nice hiding spot for campers, this spot will definitely annoy a lot of players, so do this with caution. On to the next one is on the map, Standoff. Well, this one is also very easy to do, this spot is jumping to that lamp, well to do that, just go and jump in here then from here, jump to the lamp. As I tell you from earlier, this one is very easy to do. There is also another spot in standoff where you also need to know. You need to go jump also in that lamp in there. After that, jump to the door. Alright, you could use this to camp so the players that would enter the door cannot see you. Next up would be in the map crash which is most players favorite map to play in. Just go in this house. Keep walking until you can go out the window. On the second floor, you need to jump from here to the sign. Well, once you are in here, you can guard the bombing spot, this is needed for both planters and defenders. Next spot would be on the stairs, you can also walk to the walls just like the glitch from earlier in the firing range. To do this, just go to this spot and run, you need to run backwards, and as you run, you can see enemies from long range distances. But make sure you are not lagging when you do this. Well to fix your lag and know more about your settings, click this video, I promise you won't regret this.